Hello, I'm Landis, and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Since the last episode, a lot has happened. As you can see, we're ticking up quite nicely on the moss progression stage, and now gaining biomass and O2 and heat. Still a bit slow, but the pressure's increased. So we've done a fair amount of stuff that we need to check and go through. I'm trying to remember what I've done. I don't think I've done anything here, to be fair. And we had all of those. We've definitely done some stuff out the back. Like we've got two more plant seeders. So we're getting a nice amount of flowers. And then we've upgraded our algae producers to level two. And we got another one. Um, hmm. What else did I do? Oh, yeah. I've built a biomass rocket. And the hills have turned slightly green. Uh, which I'm going to guess is moss. Well, we got mining tier four which is a uh, yeah, pretty pretty hefty uh, and expensive 459 a second so yeah, we've increased a lot of that now while exploring over here is the quickest way for me to get um, super alloy is just to grab all the crap from the miners and send it off or create my super alloy if I just come over here a second I found something interesting while exploring and I decided I'm going to leave that alone until I start recording. Which is annoying because that was a while ago. Also, what's that in there? That's just a rock. But today we're going to launch that rocket. And there it is. And then we're going to make another rocket. Uh, to bring down more uranium. And I've got a, a golden crate. Ooh. Golden seed, get in. Golden dildo. Uranium rods. Okay. That's nice. What happens if I... Oh, super alloy. Hey, behave. Right, so there's little golden chests around. So what do I do with you? Right click to build. Ooh, I can build a golden penis. Um, what I might do while I'm here is quickly empty these. Because they should, they should be relatively empty. That's a win, because that's like 9 uranium. We're running low on power. Very low. So what I want to do is... Launch that green rocket. Then we'll build a uranium rocket. So I need to get another nuclear power plant in. I don't need to, but I want to. See right there. So... What we're doing is seeding moss, so I don't know if it's going to increase our biomass or our oxygen, but we can see we're on just shy of 6k on oxygen, just over 108 on biomass. Power-wise, we've got 100 available. Right, let's go launch this bad boy, see what it does. I also like the fact that I can fly up here. Whee! We can't actually look at it because the space is occupied. It says increases moss spread, gives global generation bonus. And that's it. So we're going to do that, and then we want heat bonus. So we just need to make the rocket. Whoa, it's made everything green. Let's go have a look at our readings and see what that's actually increasing. Good. Is that one thousand? Okay, that's that's that shot the biomass up. That's what's increasing. We're getting basically a kilo an hour, uh, a minute, a second. So that's our biomass done. Is that just going to stay green forever, or is it like a short period of time? They're almost done. What's next on our biomass? Five hundred. Place the seed. So, oh yes, we'll be upgrading our food grower too. It'd be nice. What do I need for that? Thirty-five tons. Okay, right. So we needed a rocket, which I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I might need that. I get. Wait, might need that. 
I don't remember. We're going to find out. Okay, so the green didn't stay. I need another uranium. Biomass is still going up by that much. Okay, so the rockets are the way to go. Uranium. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, rocket. Uh, it should give us what we need to make the uranium one. And then we can launch that bad boy. Dirty bitch. <laughs> and then you. And you. Still need to work out what I'm doing with this tree thing. So, if it carries on this way, we might actually get out of the moss stage this episode. Heat multiplier. Launch. Get back to base before the rocket starts falling. Right. Yeah, they're still shooting our heat up. And very soon we're going to have our new flower spreader. It's going to boost our oxygen even more. Sounds like a lot of them are going up up the back. We have blueprint flower spreader. Which is that one. It's actually not that bad. I'm going to get some fertilizer. Uh, um, so I'm going to get one of the fertilizers back. And an alloy back. I need to make an alloy and a fertilizer for each one. I'm pretty sure I got four, so I need four fertilizer and four super alloy. Quickly tidy everything away while uh, while shit's hitting the fan. Okay, it sounds like our controlled hitting of the fan with the feces has finished. Need one more rod. <laughs> your mum said. Right. Speaking of your mum. Ah. Put my golden penis over here. Boom. Now I never forget your mum. Jesus, that biomass is going through the bloody roof. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. So fertilizer is going to need sulfur, which I left here, and I need four. And then I'm going to need all of you. And I'm going to need to grow some more, because I'm pretty sure I need more than that, because I think I need two per one. And I don't think I've saved any up, which is slightly annoying. Mushroom. Mushroom. We're going to need to get some more growers in, but I might wait until we get grower level 2. That's a good point. How much energy do you take? Oh, 38. Oh, that's right. It's only a 10 increase. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, we are one eggplant shy. So that's enough to do three... Hmm. That was annoying. But there ain't much we can do about it. I'm actually going to eat you to get rid of you. Put the sulfur in next. I'm going to need it. I'm just waiting for the thingy. We've got a seed. Right. So we need to get four super alloy and eight waters going to be out there. So. I guess you won't need four, but we'll take four. Then we can knit out here. He's up this bad boy. Thank you very much. Um, you give me that one. Deconstruct you. Good flower level two. 
Oh, much wider range. Beautiful. And in you we'll place our Tusker Seed. So you get cracking. From here. Take out you. Nuka Seed. And then probably place you more this way. In you I'm going to put my Golden Seed. <laughs> Oh, 1.95 PT and 33 grams. Bloody hell. Okay. So definitely worth it. We need more water. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? We didn't need more water. So. Come here because you're the 400. drop you, I think probably around there probably fine where it was then all we need to do is wait oh, it's growing funny on that hill the algae's coming along nicely there get that flower done uh, so one of you's got the rubbish flower in it you will take you back and put you in not that it really matters at this stage but it's nice so it's not food I got too much water again and we've got some magnesium bag so in here that in and then I think it's two of those I need No, because we're actually going to get more back. Don't need any. Ooh, I think I'm still full on water. <laughs> yeah. So my overflow is literally just oxygen and water right now. Because there never really is going to be an overflow of materials. Because we can um, grab some bits and just throw them into super alloy. Which we're struggling to keep track of. We've got some uranium to get. How are we doing over here? Because we just increased our oxygen. Oh, biomass is going through the fucking roof. Oxygen 63, so that's going to happen sooner rather than later. I think we get the next thing for biomass now. How many for pressure and heat, actually? Uh, so heat's nowhere near. <laughs> uh, it's just a nuclear fission generator. The pressure's not really close either. So we've got to go out and try and find where the uranium hit. Although it kind of feels like a meteor, storm's co meteor storm is coming. Uh, hopefully that won't interfere with my uranium. But let's go to the biomass because we're about to get a new present. This fruit grower. Oh, that's 35 tons. Okay, so we've got time before that happens. I don't want to see my golden flower, but I also don't want to go out there. I think it's that red sunflower looking thing. Well, we're going to wait till this meteor storm passes us. Interesting thought I've had. So we can see that creates 28 and a half heat and 0.6 pressure, right? We've got multipliers, so I want to see if we can see the multiplier here or not. We can't. Look at the chaos. Also, we've got to explore. I think we can go through the Osmium Cave and see what's through there, because we never did check that out. What are we doing for inventory? We're going to... Yeah, we're going to do that. So... One, two, three, four. Nope. Two, three, four. We'll take a spare water. Uh, food. We'll probably find something to eat on the way. Because I want to see if there's any more recipes as well. Let's quickly grab some uranium and drop that in. Because I need three rods to be able to make... Um, 
the next power plant, which means I need nine of these. Then again, if we can find another one of those gold chests and it has another um, a rod in it, then we're laughing. There we go. Red uranium all over the seafloor. Luckily, oxygen is not an issue. <laughs> well, it is, but it's an issue everywhere. And uh, obviously going in blind, I don't know how many things there are to find, or if there's a limited, like, I don't know if the same pattern's going to appear on the same chip in the same place every time. Or if it's just random based on the chip you get, if the chips even spawn in the same places. But I figure it's important to work these things out yourself. I did with Subnautica before I did the series, guide series, or whilst I was doing the guide series. So you don't have the confirmation bias of a bunch of donkeys online saying, oh, well, this happened because anecdotally this happened to somebody else. You want to go through, get your own information, and then, then sort of tie it in with what everybody else is trying to say, see if it works. Nice. We got all the rods I need. Question is, do I make them? Yeah, we make it now. Why not? We're here. Um, yeah, we make it, and it's not expensive. The, the most expensive part is the uranium. If the water is essentially free at this stage. And. Uh, the explosive thing is is even cheaper. I think it's what. Ah, oh, crap. I think I need beetroot. No, just soft soft iridium. Okay, so that's cheap as well. Especially since I have mines for both of them. It's dirt cheap. It's almost like I'm digging it out of the ground. Right, now that should be oh, beautiful. I mean, go stick out another one of those there. Should probably see how the moss is doing. One, three, four. I think we need 500. No, it can't be because it was. Did I not? I didn't grab all the rods. Seriously? Did I just eat all the rods? I think it's because I looked at the recipe for tier one. Because I'm a donkey. Also, it is kind of silly, I know, to have these up. Unless they are doing, what, 17 compared to 400. But the materials they're using are not going into that, so... <laughs> I think they can stay. They can stay and they can be happy about it. Now line this up. On the other side I did it so that... Like that. So it looks like it's going into the same pipe. I don't know why. It's just how I like the look. Oh, I've got too much... See? Maybe we could send another rocket off. <laughs> but... Although there are plenty of rockets we could send off, we don't need to. And we're going to go look at the Osmin thing. 57% moss. I mean, a biomass rocket would be bloody hilarious. Honestly, I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. There's still parts of this area we've not explored. And there are parts that need more exploring. Because I'm finding things like a golden chest. After God knows how many episodes and hours. Because this is like one massive thing. Like I, I barely started editing episode one. I'm this far in. Oh, we left all this in, didn't we? I'll tell you what, we're going to eat that. I think we left it because we don't need it. We've already checked in that one because I remember it. Uh, I'm sure there was a cave around here. There we go. I've come back here a couple of times to pick up the osmium. Doesn't seem to be respawning anymore. And I've explored around here to pick up the osmium that, osmium that was here. 
but I haven't been outside of the cave and I haven't been deep yeah there is no deep I can see because I think there's an osmium under the ground that I can't get yeah makes me think like this area I'd be able to get osmium if I've got the tier 2 but we'll see because we've tried the tier 1 that didn't work okay it's going green Ooh. am I that thirsty already oh wow it's like just desert Okay, here's something. We should probably stick to this. Although I don't know if there's any more materials. Oh, I, hmm. I am unsure on the purpose. There may be one, there may not be one. I mean, I can't even see any chests at this stage. Fix the outskirts. Oh, what I was kind of hoping for was like a wreck. I'll take a golden chest. <laughs> but honestly, okay, there's something there. Nice. So we might get some chips. We might get some chips. Yeah, it's a great big fat load of nothing. A ladder. Okay, so a failed expedition. Beach root seed will take. The rest of you can stay. So they were able to build down. Hot, nice blueprint chip and an osmium. Not veggie chip. Okay. Wait, there's another one. Whoa. You've been a busy boy. You didn't find very much, but what you did find was good. Right, now where's that ladder? Where do you go? Whoa. I mean, I was honestly kind of hoping for more. Wait, there's another ladder. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> right, what we got? Okay, I wasn't expecting that my landing site would be so bad, but there is no reason I won't be able to terraform this big rock. I have enough knowledge about the process to succeed. All I have to do is follow the steps. Hope for a good weather and not too much meteors. It can't be that hard. Uh, yeah, how did that go for you, buddy? Veggie tubes. Another layer and another ladder. Jesus. It's been harder than expected. The outside is toxic and the seeds won't really grow underground. My calculations tell me that the planet position should be best to terraform in around two years. We just have to survive until then. I'm guessing that's the year I'm on now. I read out of the guy who just shit at his job. I he built a bed, which is something I didn't do. Oh, cheap seeds. Ooh, ooh. Got a rocket. I'm going to take the rocket. Ah, oh, chip. Get in. Right, what have I got that is... You don't need more beetroot seeds. Technically don't need more of those. Take the bio nug. Um, I've got two ways to go. And where am I supposed to find more iridium on this planet? Scouted everywhere without chance. There's ice everywhere. It's critical that I find some to start heating the planet. Everything outside is freezing. We just have to sleep. Tomorrow will be better. This sentence for something so small is inhumane. I didn't deserve it. Okay. So Matey Boy was not having luck because he was on 
part of the planet where he couldn't get iridium. Another ladder. Okay. And another ladder. So one goes up, one goes down. Let's go down. Let's <laughs> let's go up. Down's freaking me out a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, storage room. Good choice, good choice. Osmium, yes. Uh, take my iron. 300 seed will take. Uranium will take. Iron. More uranium. Okay. So, there's a decent amount of stuff to come and collect from here. Just gotta remember. Whoa. How many bedrooms have you made, mate? Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission to advance the terraforming process of this world. Generate O2 heat and pressure to do so. First read. Uh, yeah, we've done that. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh. I think he went crazy. Doesn't seem like it ended well for our friend. I, I <laughs> that was kind of kind of a kind of a shot in the dark. I I don't even know what possessed me to do that. Huh. Amazing. You sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You don't even care. All you care is profit and colonization. Whoever thought it was a good idea, go to hell. Plan was never forgiveness. Be cursed sentinel call. Ooh. Another chip. Alloy nuggy nug. 400 seed multipliers. Yes. Please. Uh, I want that iridium rod as well. And then we need to head home because we've run out of oxygen. But that's got me questioning all the other walls in this bloody place now. Oh, I'm going to have to run around and deconstruct everything just to check. Then I, ca I can't take any copper. Can you imagine if I accidentally deleted uh, one of the ladders? Okay. Well, it looks good. It looks like I <laughs> randomly switched to the deconstruct at the right time. Oh, bloody hilarious. Right, let's get back, see what we got on the chips. And then hopefully we'll be close to having the moss level done. Uh, have I got oxygen on me? I've got one. I mean, this area... Nice. Nice, nice. Well, cave self is easy to get. Um, sorry, I reckon I can make it back. Iridium is going to be... I say I think I've got enough to get back. I don't know where the back is. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's just go this way. This is bound to work. Oh, that's the ring. Ah, oh, another iridium. And uranium. Oh, you're, you're worth nine of them. Uh, um, <laughs> and I've got an iron. A bloody convenience. I don't find any more piss and chests. I don't know where I am. I figure if I keep heading this way, I should be able to drop down. Uh, satellite. I remember coming across that. So I didn't need the ice to get over there anyway. 
Huh. Right. Anyway, now that we've successfully managed to escape, uh, yes, we're thirsty. I, I know. Well done. Wow, that moss is really creeping in. Looking kind of freaky. I am going to have to spend a lot more time trying to find these yellow chests. Because I assume if there's one there, like, every area's got one hidden somewhere. I kind of want more of those 600 seeds. Is there anything else in there that was useful? I mean, the uranium rod. As we've just seen, finding uranium is not hard, in theory. This is this, yeah, it's much, much, much better than it was. And we've not built too much uh, material or places or things. Like, we've kept it relatively small. 74%. Ay, 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 we are not hitting moss level in this run. Uranium, uranium, uranium. Should probably get those four. Oh, the thing's going to be ready. Uh, we can get the last uh, last seed spreader up. I need some water too. Uh, that's that. Then you, 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 you. Too much stuff in my pocket. Really want to be throwing bean seeds away. Eventually, I want to have a big enough garden with it all growing. Let's so come here. Sulfur. One, two, drop in you. Uh, algae, blah, blah. Hydration level critical. Fertilizer. Uh, which one to use the shit one? You take deconstruct inventory <sighs> and make and then probably here. Let's just place it high and see what happens. And we've got a 400 to put in you now. Beautiful. So that's gardening level improved. The next level will give us better food, but we're in no closeness for that. Chips. Chips, chips, chips. Also, I've got some nuggies and some super alloys. We see a little exploring, and we get a ton of stuff as a reward. So it's always good to have a little nose around. I could go through and sort out the plant seeds, uh, but I'm not going to. Because I'm lazy. I mean, yeah, look at how much food we can grow. Oh, as I said, I don't know where the magnesium come from, but I'm pretty sure it came from deconstructing. I'm talking while I'm doing this, which is silly. I could have just skipped it otherwise. So, osmium. Pretty sure on osmium. Really short on cloth, too. We'll keep the squash. I should have ate one of the beans. Because they're good for your heart. And I'm too worried about finding um, more algae right yet. Because it, tons of it grows. Like, tons. 78%. Uh, how are we looking? Oh, look at how green that is. The sulfur pits are green. Which is beautiful. Uh, ah, chips. What do we got? Display case? Get out. That would have been a good thing to put my penis on. Ah. Okay. Maybe that's what it's for. 
Yeah, that's probably what it's for. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to have to build base level four. Oh god, so expensive. Um, I want to see what that looks like because it looks like it's shit. Iron, iron, titanium, titanium, super alloy. Easy enough to make. I think it was just two, but we'll take three to be safe. Quick nip outside. Now this isn't going to work. I don't have a door. What do door need? Titanium, iron, and silicon. Should be able to pick all of this up relatively quickly. He says. And uh, yes, nice. So, what does it look like on top? Yeah, it looks trash on top. It's what I hate about the other thing. Um, door. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks better inside, though. Looks like we can have some... Huh. We can have some base redesign now. Nice. Well... I guess I'm going to have to work that one out and then get back to you, won't I? Because I don't think there's a flatter area than where we are. And obviously I don't want to move too far away because I've got all my shit here. Let's get paid and have a look. I mean, that's a relatively nice flat area. I think that's where I was trying to build before, wasn't it? It's like on a slant. I do need to move anyway because of that bloody um, rocket station. I could just move the whole thing over slightly. But it's working out how I'd do it. Actually, one interesting question. No, because they're not going to stack. Like, I've got things like the nuclear reactor that are clearly too big. And what I ideally want. I'll get rid of the glass panels. It's, um... If I stack them on top of each other, could I double up the room size? I don't think it will. I mean, we can check quite easily. Uh, that's all we need. Just build two on top of each other. We'll test it now. you're not going to want to fit properly. Come on, snap. Snap, you bastard. You didn't snap. Either way, I think... Well, let's give it the best chance for uh, success. Get on there. Oh, that took a lot longer than I wanted it to, and it still didn't work. <laughs> Bollocks. Yeah, it's not. It's just not going to do what I want it to do. If you enjoyed this episode, then tick on the like button, perhaps subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. And why not join us on the Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, you know all of that stuff. I've been Landis, this has been Planet Crafter. Thank you very much, and see you soon.